When Frank de Bertoli was diagnosed with inoperable pancreatic cancer, he wasn't expected to live much more than six months. That was in 2010. De Bortoli is one of about 300 patients at the Tom Baker Cancer Centre who enroll in clinical trials each year. His physician, Dr. Scott Dowden, was a site lead for an international study that looked at the impact of giving two chemotherapy agents in combination. The standard of care for uh, pancreas cancer is a drug called gemcitabine. It's been the standard of care since 1996. Um, and try as we might, we've never come up with anything that was better than gemcitabine by itself. In early phase clinical trials with this drug, Abraxane, uh, there was some indication that it had significant activity uh, in early stage uh, pancreas cancer and they brought it into a larger phase three trial. So it was a combination of gemcitabine plus Abraxane uh, versus gemcitabine by itself. And what we saw was that there was a significant improvement in survival rates. Cancer of the pancreas is a particularly deadly form of the illness. The five year survival rate for metastatic pancreatic cancer is just 2%. Di Bortoli is grateful for the opportunity to participate in the research. The med helped uh, uh, Abraxane, uh, helped quite a bit. It caused the, the uh, gemcitabine to work that much better. Three potential reasons that you would go on a clinical trial. The first one is the opportunity of getting a new drug, a new exciting drug that actually might be better than what we have already in the clinic. The second one, I think, is a lot of people really generally want to contribute to the overall level of knowledge about their disease. And this is much more of an altruistic motive to benefit people coming behind them, if you like. And I think the third one, I think some people are reassured by the extra follow-up and attention that you get from being on a clinical trial. There's no doubt there are more scans, there are more blood tests, there are more visits, because we have to monitor very carefully exactly what's going on for every patient uh, on a particular study. So many patients are reassured by that. Patients come in with expectations that they may or may not get up for treatments. Um, and our goal, of course, obviously, is to increase not only the longevity of people, um, but increasing quality. And I always tell patients it's more quality over quantity. And so I think it's actually an exciting time uh, within pancreas cancer because it's the first time that we've really had something that's been tolerable um, and actually translates into an improvement in quality and quantity of life. To know that, that uh, the, the, the drug is available now for individuals that are going through or will be going through what I had to go through. It uh, feels good, you know, it's, it's a nice thing. There are currently more than 100 research trials in progress at the Tom Baker. Aside from offering patients promising new therapies, clinical trials also help improve physicians' familiarity with new agents before they become accepted into daily practice. Overall, the importance of a clinical trial to an institution like ours cannot be underestimated. It is absolutely critical for uh, the increased opportunities for our patients. There's no doubt that outcomes at institutions that perform clinical trials are better than at institutions that don't hold those clinical trials. And the experience that we as investigators get of handling uh, and seeing the side effects of new drugs, the experience that our nurses get from handling those kind of drugs in the, uh, the center where the drugs are administered, uh, gives us a real head start on being familiar with those drugs before they're approved, so that when they do uh, come to the clinic on a day-to-day -day basis, we're very, very familiar with them. Improvements in treatment wouldn't be possible without the leading edge research that takes place at Alberta's two major cancer centers, the Tom Baker Cancer Center in Calgary and the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton.